often do you make lasagna? So when you do, make it from scratch because you can. It's not hard. You can do it. So today we're making a homemade short rib ragu with lasagna. Lasagna noodles from scratch. These are super easy to make. So first to get started, let's prep the short ribs. Two to two and a half pounds of bone-in short ribs, and you always wanna dry them really well first, so that way they get a nice sear. So we need to sear them first. Season them with salt and pepper. So you wanna season them liberally. Heat a six quart Dutch oven over medium heat, and you wanna add about two tablespoons of avocado oil. High smoke point oil because we need to sear these bad boys. So make sure these are at room temperature. Get your pot ripping hot before you add them. So we want to sear them and get a nice caramelization. You want to sear it about two, three minutes on each side. That there's what you want. Beautiful caramelization. So we're going to remove them and set them aside. One large Spanish onion. So now it's time to make the sauce. Add all the onions. So this is about a cup, cup and a quarter of our diced onions. Season it with salt, freshly cracked black pepper. So we just want to saute these until they're tender. Two, three minutes. See all that goodness right there? That's called the fawn. The French refer to that as the fawn. That's great flavor. That's from searing our short ribs, and we're gonna deglaze that. Typically, actually deglazing right now with our onions. See how it's cleaning it up? But we're gonna add a little wine in there. That way we get all that great flavor. And add your garlic. Now garlic doesn't need a long time. Once you smell it, it's good to go, about 30 seconds. Now you want to deglaze with a good white wine, about a half a cup. You want to reduce it and concentrate it by half. It doesn't take long, maybe about a minute. I don't like to use red wine in my red sauce. I don't like the tannin. I like it clean, fresh, and fruity. So I use white wine. Use white wine, it's better. One 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes. You want to take cold water and just clean the can about a quarter of the way, third of the way, and then add it right into the pot. You wanna strain your San Marzano tomatoes. Now just get in there and crush the tomatoes. Your hands are your best tools in the kitchen. Keep them clean, don't be a sissy. And then you also wanna clean out the can of the San Marzanos. That water, it's gonna give us the volume, and remember, Water is flavor in your food, right? Why do we love pizza? Why is pizza great in New York? It's the water. Kosher salt, vigorously. Remember, these are tomatoes. They need it. Freshly cracked black pepper. About one and a half teaspoons of dry parsley and one and a half teaspoons dry oregano. So I like to use dry because we're braising. It's gonna be in the oven for about two, two and a half hours. That way, the herbs will withstand the heat. Nestle them right under there. Into the oven, 350 degrees for about two, two and a half hours. We want uber tender short ribs. All right, now we need to make the pasta dough. So you could use double zero Italian flour. I actually ran out. You can use all-purpose flour. We need 162 grams. And then the same amount of semolina flour, so about 162 grams. You can find this recipe. I actually have a video on how to make semolina pasta. You can find that on my other videos. Pinch of salt, two to four tablespoons ice water, but first let's give it a little zip. Through the feed tube, you're just gonna slowly add the water. Once it comes together in a ball, stop. Quick. See that? Boom. Super quick. 
gonna form a little ball like that, like a disc. A little olive oil right on top. Let it rest 30 minutes, room temp. Divide it just like a pizza into eight wedges. Work with one at a time. Keep it covered. And then just roll it out. So you want to roll it out to about number five or six. Measure your baking dish. I'm going to measure it. That way our lasagna noodles fit in there perfectly. So we need 12 inches. As you're working, you just want to line it on parchment paper. Keep it covered. So now for the ricotta filling. You're going to add it right into a bowl. Add one egg some Italian flat leaf parsley. And freshly grated nutmeg. Season it, kosher salt, and freshly cracked black pepper. Here's the deal, mozzarella. So we're gonna top it with mozzarella, but very important, get the block, right? You're gonna grate it yourself, it's better. It won't be as dry as the pre-shredded. It's time to assemble. So you want to season your pasta water vigorously with kosher salt. It should taste like the sea. I'm going to add a little bit of the sauce in the bottom. So you have to work two at a time so they don't stick together. 30 seconds, that's all it needs. So you just wanna dab them ever so slightly on the towel so there's not too much moisture and then just start layering them. Perfect. And add your ricotta. Last layer. And freshly grated Parmigiano Reggiano, right on top. Freshly grated mozzarella. Woo! Look at that bad boy. Into the oven, 350 degrees for 40 minutes. Garnish with fresh oregano. Super important, as soon as it comes out of the oven, let it sit, let it rest 20, 25 minutes. It has to rest. If you tear into it right away, it's gonna become like soup. It's not gonna cut these beautiful, perfect cuts. That there's a perfect slice of lasagna. Woo, baby, it's perfecto. All right, let's give it a taste. So good. It's so good. Ah, oh, the short rib is heaven. Super tender, so flavorful. Balance of flavor. You taste a little bit of everything. It's not a cheese overload. It's so good. You have to try it. Just make it. That's it. It's a wrap.